them slide a hand trail. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And, uh, oh boy, <laughs> I had a bit of a time getting this one going. <laughs> we can talk about it on the way. Uh, I've got a few different things here. Um, one, I couldn't get the skin to show up, and I have a skin in the Steam Workshop for this truck, but it doesn't show up. And I made another one before testing that one. It didn't show up, so I want to check the other one. No go. It's the Ironworks W900. Finally got it resurrected after, jeez, what is it? Oh, it's been a long time since we've driven this. And looking forward to it. Uh, we've got the their tra tra trailer, their GSL on the back. And um, get our Hell Creek stuff on the neck. And uh, I made a new Hell Creek machinery and equipment skin for this truck, but can't get any skin that I've made show up. So don't know what's going on there. Have to talk to the brain power that I know out there. So anyway, this is an interesting tractor. This is a Case um, Traction King. This is their all-wheel drive, but it's not articulated. It doesn't pivot in the middle. These things steer with steering knuckles like a front axle on an older four-wheel drive truck or, a, you know, like a front of a deuce and a half army truck, whatever. Got big steering knuckles. And, um, yeah, those wheels are a little bit close. <laughs> I don't think it would steer very sharp, but anyway, we're having fun, right? And we've got the Palfinger picker on the back of this thing, and that's kind of cool. So let's uh, spark it up and get going. We are at the Sunshine Crops in Yuma, and we're taking them to a winery on the other side of Arizona. Let's have a look at that. We're heading out here. We're heading all over here to here. Moncour Winery right there. 329 miles, so I guess we best get going. Should get there reasonably easily. It's, uh, yeah, we should be fine. The load binding's interesting. Where is the boomers at? On this side? Uh, I think there might be one there. It's kind of miniature, I think. We'll have a look at it later. Uh, if we get, get a traffic light or something. All right, that's pretty wide load, so I'll throw the beacons on. We should uh, drag it across this trailer here just to see if it's got collisions. Let's find out here. I don't like doing this because it doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's for real. All right. We do have to be careful. Good to know. So I had a bit of a, a bit of a dog and pony show here, getting a video put together for uh, Turn left. this allocated slot of mine at five in the morning. Uh, five in the morning, my time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, what happened is got the ironworks thing all going, and I noticed the T600 in there, and I hadn't driven that before. So I thought, well, that's what I'll do. I'll use that T600 and do a video so uh, and yeah I wasn't worried about a skin I didn't have one for that truck and um, so I made the video and it was kind of fun <laughs> except for the part where I didn't have voice nav you know how that goes uh, I don't think I need to say more but I didn't run out of fuel, see, so, like, I mean, it wasn't all lost. But, anyway, I go to uh, render the video, import the video into DaVinci, and edit it all up, get the thing sorted, and, well, once you know it, it ends early. Somehow along the way, it just stopped recording. So, gotta keep an eye on this thing. Make sure it keeps on going. 
so that didn't end well. So then I thought, oh, well, okay, I will jump in this truck. I will go with this one. Well, then I go to uh, do all of this goofing around with skins. I made I made the new skin. That that's when I made the Hell Creek Machinery skin. Got that thing all sorted out and uh, put in a Mod Studio 2 sent it over here. No joy. Didn't happen. So I ended up. Uh, Deciding just while well, we're gonna do this. So in the interim my little over-the-shoulder camera here Went to sleep. It's just it's just my old cell phone. It's an old Galaxy S9, I think Yeah, S9 plus or something like that Anyway, I so I go to pull it off my little mount and I got a little It's like a little grabber thing like it's a little um it's old, it's not one of those newfangled things you see online. And it's got a little bump on each side of the little claw. And so I have it in a hard covered phone case that I can, and I dremeled uh, little slots in it. So you stick it on there and those little nibs grab it. Well, it's been getting weak and weaker and weaker and then the phone falls out of it. And anyway, I grabbed the phone off there to turn it on, and uh, and would you know, didn't want to go back in, and I'm going, well, you know, we didn't want to hold it; it kept wanting to fall through, and so I, uh, you know, I squeezed on the side thingies a bit and did whatever, and boom, one of the, half of the thing fell off, one of the ears fell off that reaches around and grabs the phone case so I had to fiddle around and remembered I had some a brand new pack of 3M two-sided tape so I turned the camera around so the back of the case I was using the back camera all this time so I spun it around and on the back of the case I got the two-sided tape and it stuck to my broken mount it seems to work so far, but it's early days. And then the other uh, issue was when I switched it to the camera on the front, it was an inverse image. It was like I was driving in the UK or Japan or any of those places that drive uh, on the right side of the vehicle. So that was a thing, so I had to figure out how to turn that around, but that was in the software. I could uh, flip the image in the OBS settings. So, <laughs> oh man, all this goofing around. Now it's 5 after 11 in the evening, and oh, just another day. But got a bunch of stuff cleaned up on the PC and it's just it's a start I I gotta try and spend a, you know an hour or two a day to do me oh there's two of those right in a row there's colony parks the wagons right there that's kind of weird <laughs> it's like that little town in Idaho you drive through I can't remember what it was called now so one with a left-hand corner, and you got to watch all the vehicles on each side of the road before you get to or after Grangeville. Let's see. Forget one side of Grangeville or the other. Anyway, there would always be a ton of those things parked around. It's kind of weird. It's like the Stepford wives lived in town or something. So anyway, yeah, quite a day. What a day. After, um, so I did the original video. When, when did I do that? Uh, I think I did just before supper. And then when I came back from supper, uh, Recon's got a uh, dedicated server up. And uh, he's building a map for Farming Simulator 25. 
So he asked a few, you know, a few folks to jump on there and help him test it out. And that was pretty cool. So there's four of us on there and it's a set. He used the topography and image from the area around uh, Jordan, Montana, and he's making Hell Creek Ranch in Farm Sim 25. That's pretty far out. So it's a work in progress, but it was it was it was good. It was good to talk to him again too. I haven't talked to him in a while. And Huck was on there and Mark Mitchell Brown, so good times. Yeah, getting back to the uh, picker, the knuckle boom. I got my, uh, well, here in Alberta, it's called, I don't know if it's changed in the, all the time since I had mine, but uh, a boom truck operator's license. And it licenses you to run uh, the knuckle booms and the stingers. So, it's kind of cool. It's, I, I don't very often put one on the back of a truck gun. This truck I would usually be running with the uh, winch rack. Uh-oh, there's the accident up ahead here on the left, it looks like. Every time you see that helicopter, watch out. The one just hovering there. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. So I got a groovy metallic green going on here. I was just thinking, I, uh, well, not like I don't have enough to do with skins and stuff, but I was kind of thinking it would be cool to do a, uh, McNary's Machine Works skin, and that comes from my brother's idea for a skin when we were flying and he used to hop in Flight Simulator way back when you could do multiplayer pretty easily. This is a long time ago. Um, I didn't know what version of Microsoft it would have been before 10. So that's quite a while ago. Anyway, I did uh, McNary's Machine Work skin, put it on a DC-3. That was pretty cool. It was his sort of idea and design for the logo. I just... I just put it on the planes. I should, I should, um, I seriously doubt I would still have that unless I could root through some old three and a half, uh, platter drives and plug them in and find it. <laughs> he could probably send me an image of it. I mean, he's got quite the home home machine shop. Like compared to what I have in my garage, he's got uh, he's got quite a bit more. He's got a milling machine and all kinds of good stuff. Beverly shear, a sheet metal shear. He might even have a small brake. I think. I think he does. Yeah, he's got a sheet metal brake as well. And a sandblasting cabinet and a nice, nicer lathe than mine. Um, yeah, he's got some good stuff. So anyway, he's and capable and uh, can make anything. So, yeah, we had this thing going. 
mysterious machine works. I managed not to hit anybody yet with the tractor. Six miles to go. And a photo to take somewhere. Oops. That intersection back there where I was having a gander is where you head up there to go to the uh, Tucson Raceway, racetrack. That's where we had that demolition derby with the independent owner operators on track day with the trucks. Oh, shit, so you can get a, a kind of you to get out of here. Oh, and if you, you're not familiar with this truck, holy cow, does that have a bajillion options? We could jump real quickly in the shop and just not go through them all because, well, that'd be a whole video in itself. Just to give you a quickie peek at this thing if you haven't seen it before. And one thing that's really cool about this truck is you can go underneath it in the shop and look at everything underneath. Which is kind of cool, because you can paint all kinds of things underneath. You can paint the steering box, the front axle, so it could be the color it's taking from the truck. It could be black or it could be chrome. And that's the steering box, uh, probably the steering gear too. You know, uh, drag link and uh, tie rod. And, uh, so, and uh, the springs can be painted, the leaf springs. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like I said, front axle. The only bummer is, <laughs> I don't know, there's no way around it. It seems it's always got an Alice and automatic or something in it. Even though we got a stick in it and there's a 13 speed sitting right there, coming up between the seats. Four miles. Got to pick a spot here for a photo. He's heading off. Let's see. Yeah, the interior and effects thing is not working in this truck. Oh, I didn't check to see if I have it in the profile. So I'm not grinding gears. <laughs> oh, well, all this greenery in the backdrop, that'd go with our green paint. Let's take a photo here. Back in a sec. The, um, uh, my open depth isn't set up for this truck either, so I didn't, I don't have the, um, CM870 Cummins from Zmod in here, so, yeah, once again, you know, uh, After 50 yards, exit right we're running against the clock, so I just, uh, went with the 3406B, it actually sounds really good in here.
We wait for no man. <laughs> Five miles to go. That must be it up there then. Yeah, I got that long shed there. I'm probably going to ask us to back it into it. Which is no hardship, I don't think. And unless it's a width problem. Right. Might have to hit it real closely. This guy out here counting grapes. It's quite a job. Yeah, in the building, so I guess. Oh yeah, it's yeah, oh. Sort of narrowish. Okay, this could be a little ticklish. May have to come in pretty precisely instead of just, you know, winging it and messing around as we go. What's the best let's see. How long are we? It's the best way to go. Yeah, it's a poser. Huh. Maybe what I'll do. How long? Um, nah, we'll just drive around the building. See what we're going to do when we get around there. So it's got an interesting assortment of wheels and tires, this truck. And uh, the 6x6 six six chassis all lifted up. This one is a normal height chassis. There's a low chassis, and if you get that one, the fifth wheel's built up to uh, to clear the uh, tires. Back over here. Yeah, let's see, we want to get the trailer kind of lined up before we're sticking it in the garage here so that it... Oh. We don't hit those beams. I think I kind of got to wiggle and wobble it a bit here, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, geez, I think we just grazed one of them. Heard the engine slow down there. That's what I didn't want to do. I think we'll be all right here. Oh, getting close to the other side. All my day's work. Is that as far back as we can go? Are we up against something? No, nope, we're good. Yeah, let's get this load off here and... We can have a real quick peek in the shop if you want to stick around. Like I say, we won't, we won't go in depth, but we'll just show you a few things. And it is a cool truck, and I regret the, you know, and this, what, what happens, it's one of those trucks, like, um, everybody rolling and pissed or used to be, Pinga is, where they don't, they version lock their trucks. And so you're... You're kind of hooped if they, uh, when, a, when a new game version comes out. So here's that T600, and it's kind of a cool little beast. This is what I drove in the video that didn't work out. See how it's lowered down? Like it's all hunkered down. It's got a real kind of a muscly, tough, sporty little look. And then the fifth wheel is up on these rails to get clearance over the tires. And there's that winch rack that I kind of like. It's nicely done. Looks good. And of course, um, it's a W900 cab with that T600 front end on it. Very neat. But this is what's really cool. You can just look underneath. And I don't know what I selected under here. It looks like the steering gear. Everything is just black. See, it's got the oil filters on the transmission. And if it's not an Allison, I, I don't even know what an Allison transmission looks like, to tell you the truth. I've never seen one in the flash. But that thing's got oil filters and a big pan on the bottom. It's no uh, 10, 13, or 18. 
But you can paint the front axle, the springs, the uh, uh, brake pots, the shock absorbers, the airlines are all paintable, different colors. And uh, but it's nicely done. It's well modeled. It's all there. Yeah, and you know for the winch, you get that roller bumper on there for hauling stuff up over. Fifth wheel's kind of in the way there. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's a cool truck. And you get all kinds of things you can mod, just like most of them nowadays, with the interior bits and files to change the uh, the gauge faces and the cell phone on the dash and the wood grain or whatever you want to put on the dash. Yada, yada, goes on and on. There's tons of it. But I kind of like that thing right there. I'd, you know, I'd make a fun race truck, get that as a... What are the chassis options? Oh, no six by two. So you can do the six by the lift. If you do the lift, uh, and then you could do six by six. Where is that? Do that. And this thing handles for the pits. <laughs> it's all over the road. You can uh look at how high in there that is. Oh, uh, kind of interesting. Oh, the other thing is, you won't be able to see from this image, but, oh, maybe. The slip joint right here, that has got the splines on it and everything. And it's actually lined up with the, with the pinion in the diff. Like, oh, my God. Go, go figure. Eight by six. Yeah, look at that. And there's a ton of different wheels and tire options, so this is just some of them. So it can be pretty interesting. Oh, the other thing is, uh, what are we looking for? Okay. I'm not seeing it. Do we have to change the cab? Oh, here. Day cab W9 body job, or we could go co uh, coffin T8 body job. How about that? So we put a little coffin sleeper on it, and then we've got the option under accessories. And I haven't done anything with this ever. This is, you know, I've never experimented with this. So a tanker. Oh, uh, yep. Let's throw it on there. Uh, chrome, you can do a tanker paint. So you can put paint jobs on these, which is something I'm going to have to do. I know Pups did a few. Uh, dump box. And there's Pup trailers, too. I haven't even looked at those. Maybe we take a quick peek. Uh, tanker custom. It's custom with the... Oh. Got a paint job. So you got a dump box and a, and a tanker, essentially. So if we went to, don't want to confirm any of that. We just want to get out of here. Uh, trailers. Let's have a quick peek. That would be under Ironworks. So there's the trailer. So And then we tried them. All right. That's about what you get. And then pup trailer. Oh, you got the wrong truck. <laughs> got it all lifted up in the air. Interesting. Got to figure out how to paint this stuff. I think when I last drove this truck was just before an update, and Pops had done a few um, skins for it with uh, tanker skins, like, you know, Miller High Life or something. I can't remember them all. But uh, it was pretty neat what he'd done, and I had just asked him how, how he did it, and the bottom fell out of everything.
So what do you got here? Under reach. Oh boy, look at that. Quad on the back with a lift axle. And of course you don't need those fenders. That's not so under reach. That's so what's it's pretty interesting. That's uh, most rear wheels there. Different versions. And you can paint these so, um, custom. Oh, yeah, right. I think I have it as custom one. Where the heck is it? Nope, oh, custom two. Yeah. So you can use templates and stuff, and you can put your your own stuff on there. And mud flaps too. I just got to find all my files. Anyway. Pretty cool. So this comes with the truck. Uh, or does it? Oh, maybe it doesn't. I can't remember. You can get it as a bundle. Painted axles, chrome axles. So once again, everything is paintable. Uh, axle color, brakes, painted brake pots. Or I think you can have, uh, oh, chrome. Black or paint. That's pretty freaking fancy if you're going to get down to painting the brake pots on a trailer. And it, by default, it has these gnarly tires on there, but there are smoother treads available. And a whole bunch of different wheels. Big hole. Let's see. Uh, that's some kind of space age looking thing. Spoke look. Holy cow, turbines. Used to be thing on all the shagging wagons back in the day. The bo the booger vans. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Quite a few wheels. Yeah, cool. Neat stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, as always, there'll be a link to this stuff in the description of the video. But uh, guys, take care. And uh, with any luck, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.